Greetings everyone and welcome to the second episode of Deep Doo Doo Nights. With me as always is Narculeptic Nancy. Sup Doo Doo fans. And tonight, joining us we have special guest, Foxy Lady. Nancy's BFF, and Poop Man's not so secret crush. Uh, why do you have to bring him up? It's part of my programming. He made me, you know. I can't believe he made anything but mistakes. So, how did he make you? One night, in his garage, with some duct tape, WD-40 and an old speak and spell he cobbled me together and hoisted me up into a lightning storm. The rest as they say, is history. I hate history class too. You hate everything to do with school don't you? Damn girl. Why are you so stupid? Hey, just because I've had a date or two and I don't spend my life memorizing my Cornell notes. Memorizing? Huh? You don't even write the summaries. And I wouldn't call hanging out at Jack in the Box to meet that one guy who works there when he gets off shift to ask him dozens of questions a date. Are you two really BFFs? Forever. Totes maggots. I wouldn't trust anyone else with my darkest secrets. And I wouldn't cheat off of anyone else in science class. Plus we have the same lunch. Yeah, that helps. Wow. Okay. So are you two ready to teach this week's vocab lesson to the kids at NJH? Teach? Nancy, you didn't say I'd be teaching. You said tonight's musical guest would be the fanboys and I could make out with them. Oh, yeah, um huh? Well, the fanboys cancelled. Why? They heard you were going to be here. Totally sucks for our crowd tonight. Guess they have to settle for you on Unit 7-2 vocab. Alright, everybody. Get out your Cornell notes. Put the root words in the left-hand column in the words you have to memorize on the right. Cornell notes? Oh, hexna. I'm out of here. Shut up and sit down. You owe me. Yes, mom. Our first root word is the letter E. It means out and is a Latin root. So when I say E a mouse, I'm telling it to get out. Oh, jeez. You are so dumb. It's eek, not yand. Oh man. Wow. Just wow. I can't believe we booked you foxy lady. I've had things fall out of poop man's hat that were better guess than you. Just get on with the stupid vocab. No need to tell elaborate stories about poop man to me. Hey, you just used the first vocab word. Elaborate. It means worked out with great care or extreme detail. It was an accident. I swear. That's what your mom said about you. What? Never mind. Moving on. Our next word is elad. It means showing outward emotion. I was elated when I got to kiss the lead singer of the fanboys. I thought it was the lead guitar player. I heard it was both. Actually, I heard it was the whole band. Dang, girl. You should get some standards. How about we move along to our next set of words? The second root is summit's Latin and it means highest. I would like some takeies. Yeah, and I would like some jack-in-the-box tacos. Ooh, the tacos are gross. Rick says they fry the whole thing. They do. That's what makes them awesome. Who's Rick? That one guy I meet when his shift ends at jack-in-the-box. He's on the fry o later. Wow. And that's better than Poop Man? Yes. You keep saying his name and you know I might summon him, right? Summon? Yeah, it's the next vocab word. It means to call with authority. Like that time you were summoned to the office for skipping third period. I did no such thing. You hung out in the bathroom all period. Gross. And you won't go out with the poopster? Yeah, that wasn't the summit of your school career. Summit being the highest point. Yeah, I'd call it more like your gutter point. Get it? Because you were in the bathroom, which feeds into the gutter. Did you still want an invite to my birthday party Friday, Nancy? Because you're not going to get one talking like that. And you want an invite to this one, because mom's springing for the Chuck E. Cheese party. Don't. I'll shut up. Our next root is Neo. It's Greek and it means new. The first word that comes from Neo is neophyte. 
It means someone who is new to cementing. A beginner or novice. Oh, like a noob? Yes. Precisely. Good job, Foxy. A neophyte is a fancy word for noob. See? I'm pretty smart. There's hope for me yet. Whoa. Tap the brakes there, Foxy. You're a neophyte at this being good at school stuff. What? See? The other neo word is neonatal. It means newborn. If you look at the word wall, you'll see that nat is a root word too meaning born. So you can see how the word was made. Check it out in class tomorrow. You'll see. I heard Mr. Drury's son was in the neonatal intensive care unit for two months when he was born. Yes. I heard that too. Sam was a NICU baby. Our next route is terrace. It means land. Like a terrier is a dog that loves land. More aptly, it likes digging in the earth or land. Hey, good job, both of you. Terrier is a word derived from that root, but the two words you need to know for this vocab quiz are terrain and territory. Pay close attention because their definitions are very similar. Animals mark their territory by pooping or peeing on it. That is exactly the kind of observation poop man would make. Yeah. I was thinking that too. How is it that you don't want to date him? Maybe all that time he's kidnapped me and forced me to listen to his ramblings are starting to rub off on me. So he is wearing you down. I'd still rather die in the fire than kiss him. That would be an interesting adventure. Hey, that's our next word. It comes from the Latin root ven, which means to come. I would never have any adventure with Poop Man. Reading all those books in Naz's class has been an adventure for me. I'm eagerly awaiting the advent of the next Hunger Games movie. Those are my favorite books. All right. Well, that's all we have time for tonight. Join us tomorrow night when our musical guest will be the fanboys, and we hear we'll get a special performance since they stood us up tonight. Wait. The fanboys are coming. Can I come back tomorrow? Good night, everyone. Seriously? Can I come back? No. 